Hey everybody, this is Mike from Autos Watches. This is an unboxing video. I was actually able to negotiate a good deal on this watch on the Moon Swatch release date. Um, so on the day where people around the world were all lining up um, for hours to get a Moon Swatch, I was online, admittedly on a date weekend with my wife, um, who she understood that I was negotiating a watch. Um, I had hoped to be able to get out to the Swatch store, the King of Prussia area, but I didn't. As soon as I hopped on social media and I saw that there were so many people online, I just I just knew that there was no way I was going to be able to to get a Moon Swatch. But I've been dabbling in vintage watches lately, and I've come to really love them and their charm and unique character. And uh, I came across the this Omega Constellation, and I fell in love with it. It's condition. So on the day that everybody else, well, the ones that who that could obtain an Omega and Swatch Moon Swatch, um, I spent the day negotiating with the previous owner of this watch, and it's actually a beauty. This is one definitely for the personal collection. I don't see myself selling this anytime soon. Um, or really potentially ever, but this is the unboxing. So we're gonna get our first look at it now. The previous owner said, actually sent this along with um, what he says is original packaging. Uh, I'm not sure, again, I'll have to take a look and do some research in terms of what the Omega Constellation uh, pie pan dial, this is from 1961. We have to see what the original box was because it's not that hard to get a hold of a vintage box. Um, the watch in good shape, on the other hand, is a completely different story. And my, oh my, this is a thing of beauty. So this is the rose gold and stainless steel Omega Constellation, and it is in beautiful shape. We've got that observatory uh, medallion on the back. You've got this beautiful pie pan dial, rose gold. This says genuine leather strap, so we may have to actually switch over at some point to a genuine alligator or crocodile strap or something else. I do like the contrast stitching though, so. Um, but take a look at that Omega Constellation. No date, we've got some of the Arabic numerals, the 12639. Just a beautiful thing. Um, yeah, look at that. And it has a beautiful patina. I'm gonna switch over to a macro view here in a second and just take a closer look at the dial, but this is just an unboxing and an initial review of the condition out of the box. Uh, make sure we get it in view here. That is beautiful. You can definitely tell that since 1961, this watch has been loved and cared for by the owners, and odds are pretty good this is one that's not going to leave my personal collection, unless there's some sort of catastrophe that requires me to sell off my entire watch collection to pay for a family emergency or something. Because at the end of the day, they're just watches, and they're as beautiful as they are, they have value. Um, but I hope that never happens and I get to hang on to this beauty. All right, let's switch over to the macro view. So here we are in macro view. We're going to take a close look at this dial. It does have a beautiful patina. And in my opinion, I never really liked patina on vintage watches, especially if they were very brown. But this just has this ever so delicate bubbling. As I understand it, it was serviced in 2018 by Omega. So this is in wonderful shape. Uh, the hands. Let's see if it runs, let's see. It also has the, um, everything is original. So it has the original crown, it is signed. It's just in beautiful shape. So let's give it a wind. Well, this is an automatic watch, so I could just shake it too, but I really don't wanna do that since I just got it out of the box. It does seem to be running just fine. And the winding is nice and smooth. All right, 
So keep an eye out for a future video when I do a review after I get this on the wrist for a while. If you like this video, please hit the like button and subscribe to Otto's Watch It. I'll see you guys in the next one.